So anyway, we got new LED bulbs for this thing. It had different bulbs. So there's this guy in Tampa. His name is Fred, old guy. He recommended these bulbs, LED. They light up pretty damn bright. Because these ones, they burn it up. I'll show you, they actually work though. Holy hell. See, my lens is all melted from those damn bulbs. That sucks. Yeah, they're on eBay. $9 the guy takes. The uh, ones in the store, they don't work. And these light up red. And it makes your brake light look more red. When the other ones, or even the stock bulbs, they make it look like a lighter red. My tail light stress cracked over here. I'm upset. Very upset. Is this one stress cracked too? I have a new one for the right side. I kind of have a better one for the left side, but the housing FedEx broke it, so I have to transfer the lens off the other one onto this one, and the reflector is damaged on that one. This reflector is in better shape, so I don't know how I'm going to make that happen. Well, holy shit, it works and it doesn't get hot, unlike the other things. That is cool. Same look, it's LED, so it's even faster with the return. Alright, let's go. This is how you test your brake lights, or even bleed your own brakes when no one is around. We got an apparatus like this. Now it power seats, just run back the seat. There you go, there's your foot. You do it with manual seats too. I should go change some brake hoses on my ride. And do that. But holy shit, it actually worked. So I'll show you what it looks like and take it apart again. That window's open. Worked. I'll show you. These are 578 or 577. What it says on it? 577. They don't make them anymore. They were on super hot. And they actually melt this whole housing. This just has been melted. If anyone sees a blue brake light for one of these cars, a wagon, super rare. Get it from me. But take it apart. It's like two torque screws. Probably this style of torque screws. Everything's T15. T15 torques. And you have to inspect it. I think these screws are supposed to go over there and those screws are supposed to go on the outside. I don't know if the car is assembled or wrong from the factory, but this was actually a, uh, a white color. It's very badly cracked. It was that color white. I painted it silver, but you see the cracks on it? Just from the heat. And these bulbs will just make it worse. These bulbs run cool. Now if you want to do two, these bulbs have an LED strip. Face them, obviously, so they're blowing out. I don't put them the other way. Yeah, I had like uh, Sylvania ones and they sucked. And they did not work well. So, now you see how melted it is? It's crooked. I need the whole lower assembly. I probably have a good white piece, but it's on a different color housing, so I think that somehow you can remove it as glued on or something. So that's some good piece if anyone wants a 3D print right there. Make yourself some money. Just rebuild that bracket and then you can put your contacts back on it with the clips. And there's a bar that runs under with that. That's what fails the plastic, not necessarily the contacts. And yeah. I had to check it again. Yeah, that was like way brighter even than the window tint. That is way better. Super better. Much brighter than the stock bulbs, even though the window tint. I do not like the way this thing used to illuminate with the window tint. That is very good. It's almost equal with the fucked up lights on the side. Alright, it's a custom cruiser. It was used about uh, two weeks ago. I'll just leave the wood in there. Oh, I'll take it out. I don't want to leave. This thing still needs carpet. I got so much stuff to do. I just don't feel like doing a thing. I gotta go to the junkyard. Those are the wheels the scrapyard guy gave me. Dumpster diver. So that's done. Paint, but nobody can paint here. Check out what happened to our truck. Oh, after the rain. I lost everything over here. Why is that so weak over there? It always was. Yeah, that's weird. That's weird. 
What is that week over there? That's not an aftermarket hood either. It's, I had an aftermarket one. It was really pushy pushy. That's when the guy standing that he worked it. Oh, this thing was fixed two weeks ago. Uh, 800 something bucks. I'm close to it. And uh, it doesn't piss out oil anymore. Look at that. Wow. No oil pee pee.